Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Brian Easy coming back to you guys today with a quick video on uh, delitting Haswell. Now, this is the Haswell chip here, as you can see it's delitted, so I just did it, I was really nervous, so uh, the vice method is great, like it took me two seconds to do this. Just grab a vice, put some little electrical tape there as to grip the, the heat sink better, and just put the heat sink in there and have a little bit of the chip sticking out here, and just have something in the background to catch the chip. And what I did was I just got this little block of wood here. See this little block of wood? A uh, little sort of rubber hammer. Any hammer will do. Just make sure you're very careful. And you just put it on the edge there. And you just bang, 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 bang. And yeah, she comes off. Like that, beautiful. And as you can see here, there's all this craps. Like the actual, the TIM they use here is just complete rubbish. Like. I just, yeah, I was surprised with the, uh, like, just the crap they use on this is just absolute junk. So, um, I mean, if they're going to do this paste, why don't they just use Arctic Silver or something? I mean, cost them, you know, I'd rather pay an extra dollar for my chip to have some Arctic Silver on it or something. Anyway, uh, I'm going to apply some new paste here with the line method. I'm then going to put my cooler, my chip back on, and you don't need to glue it back on, you just whack it back on. Uh, the bracket will hold it in place, and I'm going to show you before and after temps. Anyway guys, let's get on to the before and after temps. Alright, so on the left here, I did a benchmark, Prime95 and real temp, and I got 73 max and 71, 68, 65, and that was a 6 minute benchmark. And then on the right, I just did another quick 6 minute benchmark, and this was exact same ambient temps at 25 degrees ambient temperature. And you can see here, the, there was a 6 degree difference. So on core 1, 6 degree difference on core 2. And the other cores were a bit more, a uh, little bit less, but more even. So as you can see there, when I did take the screenshot, you just see the temps are way more even on the on the delittered after you delit it and put some Arctic Silver 5 on there. So yeah, guys, I can highly recommend this method. And I'll just move on to the conclusion now. So let's move on. Conclusion, I will say that the temps dropped by about 7 degrees. And yeah, that's keep in mind that's with a fresh paste of Arctic Silver on there. So maybe a week later, it will be you know even lower. So I will say that the temps were more even as well across all the cores, which is great. So in, in all in all, I'm going to recommend this method, the Vice method. I'm not going to recommend the razor blade method because I myself am too nervous to do that. Like uh, if I get a razor blade in there, you know, my, I got rough hands, really rough hands. If I did the razor blade method. I think I would have bricked my chip for sure. Anyway, guys, uh, in conclusion, I will say, like, you know, I don't have much muscle, but I do have a bit of muscle, like a little bit. So I'm going to say if you're scrawny, like, no bull, like, no bullshit. You guys are probably laughing, but I'm, yeah, if you are scrawny and you're nervous, then maybe get someone else to do it. Maybe your pups or your, you know, your friend who goes down the gym or whatnot. Because, you know, if you do have the hammer and, you know, you're just going bang, 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 and you've got no power and your hammer, you know, you overstep the wood or the hammer and you you hit you know you hit the chip somehow you're going to damage the chip because they're pretty easy to damage so keep that in mind so uh that's all i'm going to say in conclusion guys and if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment in the comment section below or if it's urgent pm me and i do recommend the vice method like seriously so i had like a vice sitting around i had a hammer and just a block of wood already there so i was like when i saw this vice method I was like this is perfect so yeah it was really it took like an hour the whole process took an hour to do I highly recommend it. Also, another thing is, oh, sorry, I did say the line method before. I do recommend the spread method instead because of the voltage regulator being right next to the chip. So that's another thing. But yeah, guys, all in all, I'm going to be going for that 4.8 gigahertz overclock probably when it gets a bit cooler. Uh, this was with 25 degrees ambient temps, as I said before. And yeah, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech City, and I'll be giving you guys some more tech. All right, guys, peace out. Bye.